everyone and welcome back to the 100 baby challenge where i have some i was gonna say exciting news but i don't actually know if it's exciting new to, news i have um news anyway um our new goal for this little bit of the series is to save up money because i have made a new house for us because i'm getting a little bit tired of seeing the same house over and over for many an episode so um i've decided to make us a new house and um, for us to be able to move into that I think we need about 200,000 simoleons so we've got quite a way to go but with all of our dragon fruit over here sprouting I think we'll be okay um, but yeah there it's definitely gonna be a little while before we can move in there and um, that's fine I don't have a problem waiting uh, with that I also haven't quite finished the house yet so there is Still a little bit more building that needs to be done. But yeah, I thought, why are you not doing what I told you to, Bridget? Um, but yeah, I thought it would be a fun little change to move into a slightly bigger home. And, you know, we're a little bit cramped as it is with with um, rooms and stuff. So I've um, tried to make sure that our new house is a lot bigger and a lot better suited for our needs, basically. Um, and yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. But for this episode, I um, have given Bob and Marie uh, makeovers that we should probably go into Create a Sim and have a look at. Okay, let's start with Marie. This is her everyday outfit. I didn't actually give her a second everyday outfit. I just realized that I'm not gonna do it now. So this is her only everyday outfit. Then formal wear, she's a little bit, you know, formal. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> this is her athletic wear sleepwear just something simple and then party wear i kind of like this dress on her i thought it was quite cute i also give her a different hair um and do you have you have ginger eyebrows that's quite interesting i'm gonna leave it as it is and yeah then this is her swimwear just something standard then this is bob's everyday outfit i actually really like these pants on him uh, and i really liked his sunglasses not his sunglasses his normal glasses as well um, and then formal, he's just wearing a suit and athletic, just something. I think this is what he was already in. Sleepwear, just casual t-shirt and pajamas. And then, <laughs> I just, I don't know, this was kind of cool on him, I think, as a party wear. So I left, I well, it's a styled look, but yeah, I tried it on and I was like, you know what, that kind of suits him. Uh, and then this is his swimwear. So that is Marie and Bob. Um, now, I want to know, when do you age up, my friend? You still have three days, okay, so we still have quite a lot of time with Beth as a toddler, but that's fine. We only have one toddler now, so we don't have that um, much for Bridget to take care of. Um, so you know what, Bridget, how about you? You need to, yeah, you need to do five masterpieces. Oh, that reminds me, actually. Um, if we go over here, we should have four grandchildren now. Let's have a look. Yeah, we do indeed. Uh, yeah, because when I loaded the game, I saw that that was a thing. I saw on George's like household photo or whatever that um, he had gotten his babies. So we should probably go and visit them at some point. But for now, let's go back to our five masterpieces thing. Let's do a small realism painting, Bridget. Uh, oh, all you guys are off to school. That is fair. I would like you all to study hard, please. Um, study hard and study hard and study hard. Okay, cool. That was just us and the toddler and the toddler is having cake. That's not great. But at least the toddler is doing fine otherwise. So Bridget should have a little bit of time to just do some painting. Yeah, now she's angry because something. Just stop already. I've had enough rough. Okay, well, I didn't have time to read that. Um, how are you doing? Just playing with the cake. Okay, once you're done, do whatever you want. Bridget is painting. Oh, today's mail has been delivered. Oh, no. No. I need money. Don't. No. Ugh. Okay. Maybe if we save enough money before we have to pay the bills, we can just not pay them. That would be kind of funny. <laughs> okay. Um. Let's sell that, Bridget. I don't know why I didn't give you... Um, why I didn't make you confident. Uh, you need to do some stuff. I can't be bothered to read. Oh, small performance loss. That's fine. Um, let it go. I don't know. <laughs> Are you having cake as well? No, cook something, please. Let's have you cook an apple pie. That's not better, but I'm gonna have you cook it anyway. You're just coming down the stairs? Okay, good for you. Why are you so angry? Oh yeah, because you had sugar. How about you go outside and crawl that sugar away? Okay, Bridget, you have made apple pie. That looks really good. Grab a serving. Well, I said it, say it looks really good. It looks a little bit pixely. But it does make me want apple pie. Uh, I am going to put that in the fridge. 
And then when you're done eating, I would like you to cloud gaze a little bit, please. Oh, Bridget is inspired already. Ah, uh, because a true chef, of course. That's amazing. She's going to be very inspired now from the, um, the cloud gazing. Awesome. Then you can do a landscape painting once you're done with this. There we go. She's gotten the second inspiration thing. Off you go. Make us a masterpiece, Bridget. I have faith. And you're just playing over there. Good. Good for you. This computer is a little bit dead, isn't it? I'm not gonna have Bridget repair that because if she dies then we have an issue. That is not a moss piece either. Ugh, Bridget. Well, um, let's have you hire a service. I would like a repair service please. And then I would like you to do another painting. Here is the service dude. Hello, monsieur. You good? You finished already? Oh, no, I thought you'd finished. Oh, you guys have finished. You're a B student. You're an A student. How are you a B student and you're an A student? Ugh. Not this again. Oh, no, you're not a B. Ugh. Goodness. These messages are really difficult. Oh, you guys are A students. Hang on. You guys are A students now? Yes, you are. Good job, you guys. You guys are C students, but that's fine as well. Okay, well, let's have you, Beatrice, um, plan a social event. Let's party it up. We would like it to be a birthday party, please. The birthday sims are... Rory and Wilbert, and guests, whoever you know, Malcolm Langrab apparently. You don't know that many people, so we're not going to be able to invite everyone, but that's all right. Um, the place is going to be right here. Cool. Why are you so angry? Oh, you still... Yeah, you need to go to sleep, my friend. Just go to bed over there. Um, right, you. Let's have you make a cake, please. A hamburger cake, because why not? There's Marie in her new outfit. Lovely. Can you take that away and clean that up, please? Oh, you look so cool. I really like his party outfit. Oh, Bridget, where are you going? No, no. If you've finished the painting, I need you to sell it. And I need you to do more. How are we doing? You done? Uh, not really. Hurry up. Hello, Victoria. How are you doing? You're just kind of standing here. Well, good. Oh, you guys are hugging. I love that. Hello, George. How is... Parenthood, you don't seem very happy about it. That is just going in the oven now. Cool. I'm gonna have four teenagers again. Have Sims play games at the same time. I didn't even try. Oh, you guys are playing games. I like that Malcolm is here. Like Malcolm, actually senior, kind of, but he's also a teenager, so I don't know. It's a little bit odd. Why do you look so angry, Alice? What is your problem? Hmm. I don't know. She just looks angry. Ah, the cake is done. Cool. I have you. Are you guys gonna- don't- I don't like you, Malcolm. I don't know why I invited you. This is really awkward. There we go. Cool. You. Come and blow out the candles, please. Okay. He's gonna age up. Here we go. Wilbert has aged up. Oh, indeed he has. Um, let's see. I'm gonna give him the soulmate trait, because why not? You can be a foodie as well. Hello, dude. Looking good. Can I have you, um... Add birthday candles again. Thank you. And then Rory, come here and blow out the candles. Come on, Rory. Hurry up. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Blow them out, bro. Nice. Okay, Rory was our little... Um... <laughs> well, I was gonna say deviant, but you know. Uh, pranks and mayhem? Yeah, sure, why not? You can be a goofball as well. Oh, wow, that's that's some, some outfit. Cool to me all. Oh, Bridget finished a masterpiece. Yes, Bridget. No, don't go have the cake. Don't. No. Where's the masterpiece? Here it is. Sell it right now. That means we only have to do two more. I know I'm about to sell the masterpiece. Go pee like a champion, and then you can have cake. If there's more left. Oh, no, there's not more left. Oh, maybe there is. What? I'm not sure what's happening. Okay, let's have you get some leftovers instead. Some leftover cake. You're looking good as well, Bob. I really like that outfit on you. And we have eaten food as well. Good for us. Now we need to eat cake. Yeah, that's literally what we're doing. All right, Bridget, when you've finished eating your cake, I need you to get inspired again. So please cloud gaze again. But yeah, we now have four teenagers, guys. How exciting. Once again, we're back to teenagehood. You're getting quite tired, my friend. You should probably hygiene up and then go to sleep. Oh, it's so nice that Bridget is not um, sleepy all the time now because of her, um, what was it? Seldom sleepy trait? I think so. Go do a classic painting, my friend. I know you're feeling confident, but you should be feeling inspired soon. Okay, now everyone's just kind of hanging out. I'm gonna stop the party. It was a good party. 
Everyone leave, please. And everyone else. Oh, Christ. Okay, you need to do that. And then I do need you to do your homework. Where did you put your homework? Up here? Yeah. Do your homework, please. You do your homework. You do your homework. You do your homework. And you do your homework. What the frick? You have a ponytail? Rory, I do not approve. No. I'm gonna chop that right off. Is everyone doing their homework now? They should be. Yeah, looks like everyone's doing their homework. Yeah, you've even completed your homework, Bob. Good job. Oh, don't place it in world. No, 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 don't do that. Where are you? You're there. Okay, I'm gonna put this back in your inventory and then please go to bed. You're about to be done with your homework. You can go to bed. When you're done, you can go to bed. When you're done, you need to take a shower and then you can go to bed. Beatrice, you need to eat something. No, not cake. I need you to eat like a quick meal of cereal and then you can go to bed. You too, actually, you can have... Why do I always press it there? I know they're just gonna grab cake when I press there. There you go, and then sleep. You're feeling very confident. That's good, but that's not really what I want. Uh, I guess you can do a confident painting then. And when you've finished with this painting, Bridget, I need you to cook some actual food. You can make some grilled cheese, I guess. Why are you sleeping in that bed? That is not your bed, you absolute knob. Go have a quick meal of cereal and then go to sleep in one of these beds. Does that mean we don't have enough? Oh, we don't have enough beds, right? That makes sense. Okay, now we should have enough beds. You go and sleep here. And you need to sleep as well, there. No, Andy, I don't want you to go to sleep in Bridget's bed. Go to sleep there. You're asleep in the bath. Ay ay ay. Okay, you, I need you to pee and then go to sleep there. You, I need you to pee and then go to sleep there. Hurry up, Bridget. And please make it a masterpiece. I doubt that it will be, but it would be very nice. You did! Oh my goodness! Good job! Sell it right away. And then I need you to cook. Let's do mac and cheese, actually. You're just going downstairs to cook anyway, aren't you? Nope, now you're going back upstairs. Okay. Yes, I know. Sell the masterpiece. Back downstairs, Bridget. Make food for everyone. Are you about to go to bed? Yes, you are. Cool. How are we doing over here? No more dragon fruits just yet, but these should be sprouting soon. Why are you going to have coffee? Stop that. Go to sleep. Pause. Why are you awake? You're gonna go, no, go to sleep. There we go, Bridget has made food. That means, my friend, that you can get up and eat as well. Cause you're pretty, yeah, you're pretty sad and you're quite stinky. So once you've eaten, we will need you to give her a bath, Bridget. I'm gonna put that in the fridge. You're just gonna eat in the chair. That's fine by me. You're done eating. Good for you. Let's watch some TV to get your fun up. Okay, cool. You're now awake. Let's give you a bubble bath, please. Go on, bubble bath it up. Don't sit Hi, down, Robbie? bubble bath. There we go, off you pop. Okay, what are you doing up? Oh, you really need to pee, that's fair. Go pee and then <laughs> take a shower and then get some leftovers out. Get leftovers, there we go. How's everyone else doing? We should probably start getting up. Up we get, everyone, up we get. You're sorting yourself out, pee and eat. Don't have cake. Get actual leftovers, you weirdo. Get up and get leftovers. You two, get up and get leftovers. Bridget, what are you up to? Not much. Go stargaze, please. You're fine now, right? Yeah, you're good. Okay, cool. Let's have you go play on that. Bridget is stargazing. Good job, Bridget. Go do a confident painting. Why are you still asleep? I definitely told you to get up and don't eat cake. Go get some actual leftovers. What are you doing? Relaxing. No, you're not. Okay, let's see. Everyone should have finished their homework. Is there any? Yeah, there's extra credit to do. Cool. You are too tense to do your homework. Have you not finished your homework? Oh no, you haven't. Watch some TV then while you're eating. And then do your homework afterwards. Have you done your homework yet? Yes, but you can do extra credit. You can do extra credit. I know school starts in an hour. You can't do anything. You can't do anything. Okay, cool. Yes, I know school starts in an hour. Let's have you watch current channel as well because apparently you're too tense to do your homework too. Okay, you're pretty much finished. Get up and see if you can, okay, well, we don't have time to do homework, Never mind. Okay, it's eight o'clock, everyone. Stop doing what you're doing and head off to school. You're being cold for some reason. Congratulations on your recent birthday, thank you. We really need to give you a makeover. Okay, Bridget, 
you have finished your painting. I am very glad. Go sell it, please. Now, please do another painting. Okay, everyone is heading off to school. Let's make them study hard, everyone. Bob, what are you doing? Going to school as well. Hurry up then. There we go. Study hard. Okay, Bridget is doing another painting. Hopefully it will be a masterpiece because then we will have finished this thing. We have 24 hours to pay our bills. Yeah, we know. Don't worry about it. We have loads of money. You're, where are you going? You've mastered the movement skill. Good for you. I don't want you to watch Bridget. How about you go? I know it's boring being an every and every and only child, but go play on the iPad or something or go up the stairs. That's fine too. How are we doing here, Bridget? Don't wait for her. Just paint. One more masterpiece. That's all I need from you. You did it! Holy shit! I was not prepared for that, but she actually did it. I'm so glad. Yes, we want to sell the masterpiece. Good job. Now, let's have a look at these guys. You're sorting out our plants for us. That's great. Okay, let's go and sell all the dragon fruits, Bridget, and see how much money that gives us. Okay, that really is very good. Like, one more harvest of these and we're pretty much ready to move into our new house. That's amazing. Okay. Shall we do something fun with you? Let's talk about our day. Uh, check, toddler. We can read you a toddler book as well if we want. Let's have you not do that. And then Bridget and you probably as well. Yeah, both of you guys need a nap. <laughs> let's, instead of reading a toddler book, let's actually read her to bed. Oh, you need to pee. That is good point. Uh, let's have you, let's see. Potty drain, potty drain Beth. Go for it, and then we can read her to sleep. Why are you angry now? Oh yeah, because you need sleep. I know, you're also hungry. Ugh, you're the worst. Okay, cool. No, I need you to read her to sleep. Read to sleep. No? Put Beth to bed, can you do that? Oh, apparently you can do that, okay. Maybe it's just because this bed is slightly in the way. Good, then Bridget, you need to go to bed on your own as well. Oh, you are reading her to sleep, oh good job. That's kind of cute that you're reading her to sleep from there. There you go. Off to bed, Bridget. And then we will need to eat in not too long, so it's not going to be a very long nap. Oh, everyone's back. Hello. Who are you? Just a random person walking past. Yeah. Um, Beatrice is a B student. You're a B student. You're a B student. You're a B student. You're a B student. And you're a B student. Well done, everyone. There's someone's homework is just lying on there. Okay. Um, yeah, everyone seems to be pretty knackered, so I'm just gonna allow them to do whatever they want. Uh, and you guys need a makeover, so let's do that. Okay then, let's start with Wilbert here. Um, he became a very normal guy, really. I kind of made him kind of your typical jock. I found it kind of cute that the typical jock, all he wants is to find a soulmate. I found, yeah, I just found that adorable. Um, formal just some clothes that he was already in. Athletic, this was what he was already in, I actually really liked it, so I left it. Same with pajamas, these are what he was already wearing and I liked it so I left it. And then here is his party wear and as you can see this is like his school jumper or whatever and he clearly plays on the football team or something but I, I liked it. Um, and then swimwear, is this your swimwear? Let's just remove that and show off that body a little bit, there you go. And then Rory, as we remember, that's your swimwear man, um, is the more troubled person. He's got a, a little, I was gonna say a little bun, but a little side ponytail there. Um, he's uh, the chief of mischief so I made him slightly rocky, um, formal is very formal on him, and then sportswear, I don't know, I don't really care. Same with sleepwear, this is what he was already in. I'm gonna remove your, your, yeah, that. So this looks a little bit better. Um, party wear, just a little bit over the top for him, I think, but it, you know, it's his teenage years. He is allowed to be a little bit over the top and then just swimwear for swimwear, really. There we go, that is Wilbert and Rory all sorted out. Why are you so angry? Oh, because you're hungry, that makes sense. Uh, let's get this food out. Oh, you're already sleeping. Right, you know what? You're more hungry than you are sleepy. So please get up and then uh, eat and then go back to bed. Oh, what are you- what are you doing? Have you had a bad day at school? Yeah, you're stressed at school. I get it, but fucking hell. Repair what you broke. Okay, you're gonna eat some of that. Cool, that was the last serving of that apparently as well. I'm gonna throw that out then. Yeah, when you're done with that, maybe you should take a nap or something. Connor would like to come over and hang out. Go for it. You're really stinky. What are you gonna do? You're gonna play on that? Oh, you're gonna be the sea monster for him? Oh, that's so cute. I love it. Oh, he's leaving now, so yeah, go to bed. 
You know what? Everyone should go to bed for a little while. Apart from you. You're fine. Do your homework. How are you doing? You're also fine. Go do your homework. It's just the teenagers that are, are exhausted. Which makes sense. That sounds realistic. Okay, let's see if we can find something for us to use our satisfaction points on. Oh yeah, we were saving up for steel bladder, weren't we? Let's go with that then. Cool. Bridget now has a steel bladder. Good for you, Bridget. Why are you up? No. Go to sleep. Don't- not in that bed, you knob. Go in that bed. Take a nap. There you go. You guys are just doing that. You, Bridget, should probably uh, get up. Actually, let's uh, hire a repair service. And then you can cook a gourmet meal. Because why not? Let's cook some garlic noodles. Up you get. Why are you awake? I thought I told you to take a nap. Go take a nap. Oh, you're in that bed. Well, you know, swap get beds and then go take a nap. Mary has completed her homework. Not Mary, Marie. Even when even your mum mispronounces your name, you know you've named your child the wrong thing. <laughs> okay, you're feeling very tense. Yeah, go watch some TV. You're doing okay, actually. So how about you get up and do your homework? You're all right, do your homework. You're also feeling tense. So how about you join in join in watching the TV, maybe? Not watch current channel, no? Okay, well, you just sleep then. Bridget has made food, good. That looks, yep, yeah, horrible. Let's put that in here so that we have food for everyone. You're getting pretty sleepy as well, <laughs> but you are doing okay. So let's have you do your homework. Stop doing that! Prepare the fucking thing, Christ. I also definitely told you to do your homework. Okay, Bridget, when you are done with eating, what do we want you to do then? Oh yes, we need to select the new aspiration for you, let's do that. Oh yeah, we're working on um, bodybuilder. So you can go practice punching when you're done. Hello, my friend. How are you doing? Beatrice, you're so skinny. So unusual for this family. Okay, Bridget is off to do some punches. Marie has completed her extra credit, good for you. Can you not use it? You're too uncomfortable because of the environment. Yeah, idiot, practice punching. You're really hungry. I will have you go take some leftovers. Uh, how are we doing over here? You're gonna go pee, then grab some leftovers. You are eating cake, which is, uh, sure. Whatever, whatever. How you doing, Bridget? I think you're doing really well. You've worked out for five hours in total. You should get going now. Yeah, we didn't talk to you at all, Connor. I apologize. Bridget is gonna go take a bath. Okay, sure, have fun with that. You're asleep. Uh, how about you go have some food too? Not cake. Go get some actual leftovers. And then you can go to sleep after. And you need to eat something get leftovers and then go to bed as well you are eating and then you can go to bed afterwards you really need to eat something too uh, don't have cake no don't cook something either that's not what I want if I ask get leftovers yeah there's still leftovers so you have that you need to pee my friend yeah go pee and then you need to sleep. Okay, Bridget, you can continue pushing the limits. Guys, why are you not going to bed? Go to sleep and go to- Stop doing that! Don't break the dollhouse. Thank you. Hi, hi, hi. Dude, stop drinking coffee. I just need you to go to sleep. I promise you sleep is better than coffee. It's a much better solution to being tired. There you go. I'm gonna throw your coffee out if that's alright. No, don't put it there. Throw it out. Thank you. Okay, there we go. Everyone apart from Bridget is asleep. Bridget is just continuing to push the limits. She's now worked out for eight hours actually, so we need to take her to a gym venue. Shall that be the end of this episode? I was gonna end the episode, but I guess we can go and work out at a gym for a little bit. Okay, Bridget, go and push the limits. There we go. Did that. Now we just need to work on these things. Good plan. Okay, I'm gonna end the episode here. Um, in the next one, we might be moving house. If that, it really depends on how much we can sell the dragon fruit for in the next episode. Um, uh, Beth over here might also be aging up because she only has a couple more days as a toddler. And yeah, very exciting things ahead. I will see you guys in the next episode. <laughs>